The new Unreal Reader beta feature in Nuke 13.1 accelerates the pipeline for getting image data from Unreal into Nuke X, enabling you to combine the speed and efficiency of real-time rendering with the flexibility and fine-grained control available in Nuke's Node Graph. Unreal Reader connects NukeX to an Unreal Editor session using our Nuke Server plugin. It makes it quick and easy for compositors to pull pixels coming out of Unreal Engine by breaking objects into rendering layers, pulling AOVs, building environment maps, and making tweaks to shot framing. Check the description below for details on where to find the Nuke Server download page. Let's get started installing the Unreal Nuke Server plugin on Windows. Once you've extracted the plugin, you'll have this top level folder which you can click into. Inside there'll be a Foundry folder. Right click on this folder and copy it. Then go into another browser window and go to Program Files, Epic Games, UE427, Engine, Plugins. You can paste anywhere at this level of the folder. If we have a look inside the Foundry folder, you'll see that there is a Nuke Server folder that contains the contents. On a Mac, once you have downloaded the Nuke Server DMG, double click to open it. Inside you'll see the Foundry folder, which you can right click and copy. Then in Macintosh HD, Users, Shared, Epic Games, UE427, Engine, Plugins, you can paste this folder. If you go inside the Foundry folder, you'll see again the Nuke Server folder is inside. An alternate install location is also available in Applications, Epic Games, UE427, Engine, Plugins. In order to add the Nuke Server plugin to your project, open it up in Epic Games Launcher. Then go to the Edit menu and select Plugins. In this window, you can go to the Installed section and select Foundry, and here you'll see the Nuke Server plugin that we added earlier. Select Enabled and then click Restart Now. Once you've restarted your project, go to the Window menu at the top and then down to the new Nuke Server item. Clicking this will create a new Nuke Server panel, which you can dock anywhere. Down the server options, you can see that there is a port number, which is at 9000 by default. The server status will be red and offline, and clicking the Start Server button will show this is running. If you want to adjust the port number, you can go into the field and enter a number that works for you. You'll be prompted with a message telling you that you need to click the Restart Server button to start again, in which case the server status will show as running. By default, stencil layers from Unreal include a constant white alpha channel for the whole image, rather than the stencil area alone on a transparent background. In order to have an alpha channel that matches the stencil layer, you need to activate alpha channel support in the stencil layers by going to Edit Project Settings. In the search bar, type in alpha. You'll see in the Engine Rendering section, there is a Post Processing subsection. To enable alpha channel support and post processing, we want to change the option from Disabled to Linear Color Space Only. Then click Restart Now to apply the setting. Once the Nuke Server plugin is set up in your Unreal project, we can open up NukeX and add the Unreal Reader node. Once added, you'll see in the control panel on the right that some of the knobs haven't been populated with any data, and also the node is currently in an error state. This is because the Nuke Server session that we were running is on port 9005, so changing this to 9005 will connect through the Nuke Server and all those knobs that were previously grey will be populated with data. By default, the hostname is the IP address of the machine that Nuke is running on. If you want to run Unreal and Nuke Server on a remote machine, you can enter the IP address of that machine here, and the port number can be the same as the Nuke Server running on that machine. And that's it. You're now all set up to work with the new Unreal Reader node in NukeX together with the Unreal Engine Nuke Server plugin. For further information on Unreal Reader workflows, please see the Nuke Unreal Reader beta section on learn.foundry.com/nuke.